The Users page lists all user accounts associated with the servers as well as Enterprise Manager users. An account may be on an ExactVision server or used for access to Enterprise Manager. It may also be used for both cases and synchronized between them. The table of user accounts indicates their account status, assigned group, and system access level. An active status indicates the account is OK. A conflict status means the user's privileges require synchronization between systems. A lock status could result from inactivity or lockout rules and the user needs to contact the system administrator to unlock their account. Inactive shows an unutilized account. As discussed in the Enterprise Manager Groups video, servers are associated with groups created in Enterprise Manager for logical organization. User accounts are also attached to the highest level group they need access to. Any groups nested below this group would be able to inherit this user account as well. The System Access column displays whether the user account has access to Enterprise Manager. Additional columns may be displayed using the Column Display icon above this table. Other icons here allow you to filter the users list, search it, or download the information as a CSV. To add a user, click the Add User icon. You may enter a username for a new user account, or if you've connected to an Active Directory or LDAP server, select the search link. In the pop-up window, search for a user account managed from your directory service. Selecting a user from a directory search will auto-complete their name and email fields, as well as disable the password field, since this will utilize their domain password. If manually entering a new user instead, complete the name fields, password, and email fields yourself. Below the password field, you will select the highest level group to grant this user privileges to access. In the System Access field below, you will select the user's optional level of access to Enterprise Manager itself. An admin will have administrator privileges to make all changes, including changes to user accounts. An account with user access may log in and perform basic tasks. Someone with no system access may be granted access to an ExactVision system to view cameras, but with no system access they cannot access Enterprise Manager to view anything or perform any changes. The Email Settings area allows you to configure the user's settings to receive any alerts from Enterprise Manager. Emails are sent based on rules created for various events. Creating rules will be covered in a separate video. The Server User Roles section permits you to determine what user role this person will receive on the servers of each group. You have the option to mix these as desired using the drop-down menu selectors, or you may use the icon to the right to propagate the selection to any groups nested below the one chosen. Lastly, the Preference section allows you to create a default rule for notifications to the user upon login to Enterprise Manager, but it is suggested to create rules specific to what events are important to each user. You may also choose to hide the dialog window when selecting the Client Launch icon from the top toolbar. Click Apply to save the new user or any changes to an existing user, and the user will appear in your Users table. Back at the top of this page, clicking Unmanaged Server Users will display a table of users not managed by this instance of Enterprise Manager. This typically means the user account was created directly on the server itself through the desktop client. Using the Actions column to the right, you have the option of removing the account altogether, or when clicking the link icon, you may take over management of this account. The account name will move to the Users table. When using the desktop client and opening the users page, we see that our newly created user was created by Enterprise Manager directly on the system. Accounts indicated by Managed in the Type column are those created and managed by Enterprise Manager.